James Mansfield here bringing you yet another video. Oh my God, you guys, I have spent a fortune at Bellamy Hair. Not a, not a fortune, a small fortune, but I'm excited to bring you Tokyo Styles' very own wig line with Bellamy. Yes, yes, yes. I bought the synthetic version because I'm not spending $800 on a human hair wig. It's, it's just not happening. No, no. But anyways, I'm excited to bring this wig to you. This is completely not sponsored. I just bought this because, well, I love celebrity products, and especially when a celebrity has their own wig line, I have to have it. So we're gonna try out Miss Tokyo Styles wigs. Now these wigs were released a bit ago, so I'm a bit late to the party, but you know, it is what it is. Let's get started and look at this thing. All right, so first things first, it came with a little wig stand, which is always wonderful. I love when they provide these things. All right, and inside this gigantic shoe box is not some kinky boots, it's actually the Tokyo Styles wig. Look at that Tokyo Styles. Now let's go inside and see what they all gave us. Okay, so we got a wig cap, that's fun. We got a brush. Now, considering this price point was about $100 and some change for shipping, they're giving you a lot of stuff to come with this, which is nice. Paper, blah, blah, blah. A little carrying case. Yep, nice silk packaging to put that in there for after you're done. All right, let's look at this wig. Here we go. All right, wig time. Let's open it up. And we have some length. Good Lord. James is rocking inches now. Oh my gosh. This is some long ass hair. All right. Look at it. Balami. Balami Salami. I feel like I've been saying that name wrong. I felt like you guys corrected me on the last time. Is it Bellamy? Balami, like Bill Bellamy, like the actor from like Fastlane. And you know, there's no roots to it. It's just honey blonde, full honey blonde. All right, let's put her on the head and we're gonna style this bad boy. <laughs> All right, welcome back. I'm Tana Manju. No, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, I had to try the wig on before I styled it. Some of y'all been asking me to just start doing that before I transform it. So here you go. Enjoy me with this long, luxurious, hair. Good Lord, this stuff is long. This thing is a tangle machine, mind you. I tried putting on and taking it off, girl, I nearly strangled myself. Anyways, let's get started and transform this. All right, we are back. This is the wig. Let's get started on transforming her. Oh, there's a tag still. Let's cut that out. Cut out the tag, cut out the tag. And, okay. What am I gonna do with you, Miss Honey? Okay. First, let's brush through her. Now the length, I'm not in love with. I love that it's very, very long, but I don't know what it is about the hair texture. It just tangles like a beast, like just by looking at it, it'll tangle up on you at the very bottom. But I'm gonna solve that. I'm gonna give a little bit of a haircut because it needs it. So I'm gonna take some hair from the top because it's also gonna help me with framing everything out. What I have planned today is I wanna actually give this some wave and tease it up some. So we have a nice, like, sensuous 1970s Farrah Fawcett kind of fantasy. And we'll see if I can achieve that with this wig. We'll find out. Let's see how it curls. Also, if I was to curl all this long ass hair, it would take me like hours to do. And I'm not trying to be here for hours. Not to mention, I just don't want to curl long hair. It is the bane of my existence to do. I love you all, but I don't love you that much. I'm not going to put myself through that kind of torture. All right, let's raise this up. Because like I said, it's already started to tangle at the bottom. So, raise it up. We got to give it a haircut at the bottom too, because some sections are already starting to kink up. Like if this were in a human hair texture, this would be stunning. Not to mention when the hair is that long, it won't hold a curl at all, because there's just too much hair. It'll be too heavy and the heat just won't penetrate through the rollers. So. Here we are. This is a workable length. I cut off probably about, from the looks of it, three inches of hair and a little bit more at the top layers. She's giving it some layers. All right, let's start rolling her. And I'm gonna be using two inch pink rollers. That is our first roller. Here we go. Let's do one more and then I'll roll the rest off camera. Cause you get the direction of all these are going. It's gonna go Roller facing up and going down on the sides. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and my standard roller set on the back. And I'll show you what that looks like <laughs> after we're done. All right, I am back. Yes, this is the hair all rolled up. This is how the front looks. And this is the back. It's just my standard roller set pattern. Easy, easy. Now on this channel, you guys, we don't use heat tools on synthetic wigs. I mean, for some of them you can, but 
I ain't burning nothing on camera. This is my apartment, okay? I rent this place. I ain't burning it down. I don't have renter's insurance. Okay, so. Yeah, you do. Oh, I do? Yeah. Oh, I have renter's insurance. Anyways, <laughs> look at me, celebrity status. All right, let's get started on steaming this hair because that is the safest way to curl a wig. It is scientifically proven by hair scientists. I'm gonna use only the most expensive bag to put over this because I what? Recycle. All right, let's just put this fabulous designer bag over it. Yeah, here we go, designer bag. And we are going to steam it. Oh. Ooh, there we go. A Con Air steamer with my Con Air hairstyling tools. Oh my God, Con Air, you should totally sponsor this video. <laughs> they aren't paying attention to me. I really wish they would. I'm buying up their product. I bet you they sponsor all those other problematic YouTubers, but they can't throw a bone to a drag queen. And I feel like I say this every time I have to steam a wig, but I can't beat this in your guys' heads enough. Yet I'll say it again, no matter what size the roller is, if you are rolling up hair, make sure it is rolled tight. I mean tight. Make sure it is just in there and secure on the sides with pins. If the roller is in tight, you're gonna get a nice tight curl. If you're trying to do like a certain kind of vintage pattern, the rollers and their positions mean everything. All right, and once this is all steamed up, I'm gonna put it inside the wig oven and we're gonna dry the hair off and then we're gonna start styling it. <laughs> all right, I am back. The hair is all dried inside my wig oven. Let's take down the hair and see how this Balami hair curled. Okay, it's a good curl, that's good. I'm pleased, all right. Balami can stay, they aren't over yet, okay. Otherwise, Balami is over party, will be trending on Twitter. Oh, here we go. Oh, love it. Okay, I'm getting some nice, loose body waves. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, fantastic. Also, you guys, I need your suggestions on some things. I'm trying to think of some new merch ideas for like my YouTube store, because it's kind of boring. So if you guys have anything you want me to make, let me know and I'll make it for you. I love creating merchandise for you folks, so you can wear me all around and show your devotion to my cult of hair. Yeah, if you have a suggestion, let me know, because I'm totally looking for new ideas and there aren't a whole lot of those floating around inside this head at this point. There's so much hairspray pollution inside my brain. I couldn't tell you anything anymore. Also, if you know of any other celebrity wig lines, comment down below, let me know, because I'm always searching and I will eventually get to the Raquel Welch We're working on it, okay? it's. It's a lot to invest in. I can't forgive myself for that kind of purchase, especially if it's bad. Ugh, I'll have so much egg on my face. Now, the reason I use these big rollers is because with longer hairstyles, you have to use bigger rollers to get more hair on, obviously. If you use those little teeny tiny ones, ain't nothing gonna curl. Definitely big size barrels. This is how she looked after I curled her. I haven't brushed through it yet, but she's already looking so beautiful. Okay, where the hell's my brush? I'm gonna try out the Balami brush right now. They gave me a free brush and by God, I'm gonna use it. Okay, wooden hand, these are some thick bristles for a brush, but okay, well, let's do this. This is the brush they recommend for their hair, so let's do it. I, it's not bad. It's not my favorite, but it's not bad. And that tangling problem is still happening, even after the haircut. But I did add curls to it, so that's probably gonna add a little more of that problem too. Well, it's over. All right, I'm going back to my counter brush. Look at that wave! Ugh, it's gorgeous. Damn it. My favorite thing in this whole world is glamour and I have achieved it. Oh, look at that. Y'all can't tell me <laughs> Look at that. Celine Dion is in my workroom right now. <laughs> All right, let us lower that. And we're gonna start our styling. Oh, baby, you are beautiful. Ugh, this hair looks so pretty, especially when it gets bigger, oh my God. I'm excited. Now, I wasn't in love with how long it was, but after the haircut and the curling, she's pretty stunning. She does still tangle quite a bit, so I mean, that could be a problem. And Also, I have to say, I'm also not a fan of how much hair on the sides there are in the ventilating. Okay, let me explain that. Ventilating, for those of you who aren't in the know, is when they root little tiny hairs on the lace to create a hairline. There aren't a whole lot of those rooted here. It's like a few and then it goes right to the tracks. 
which I guess is probably because the wig was designed to be worn straight down the head without anything being done to it. We're giving this hair a lot more style than it was ever intended to have. I have to say, I am a huge fan of Tokyo Style's work, especially her early work with Nicki Minaj. Oh my God, she was responsible for all those crazy ass wigs Nicki wore to like award shows and stuff and music videos. Gorgeous stuff. And now I think she works with Cardi B and a bunch of other people, but I think she specifically does work with Cardi B now. But no, I love it. Anytime you see a fully just like shellacked, long, colorful human hair wig on a rapper, chances are it's probably Tokyo Styles or someone emulating her style. All right, let's get her all teased out. <laughs> All right, I am back. She is all teased out. Now it is time to create a style. Okay, here we go. We got our volume going. Okay, so that part has gone away, which is fine. You know, we can work without it. I wasn't that married to it anyway. So, ugh, let's just try and create something glamorous. That is my end goal. Something that screams 1970s disco era. Something that says, I am here to dance, do questionable things on the dance floor. <laughs> Something very boogie nights. Okay. I see the direction she's going now. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Gorgeous, she's gonna be so beautiful. All right, you guys, now as I was brushing through this, I couldn't help but realize, I think I've done this hairstyle before. <laughs> it's the exact same hairstyle as my bigger hair one wig tutorial. So I decided I'm gonna brush down these bangs and create like a different look and have some poofiness going on in the back. Now, for those of you, I always see a comment in the comment section, just like everything interesting happens off camera. How do you brush a wig? Well, it's quite simple actually. You take a brush, right? And you run it through the wig. It's just like that. <laughs> So simple, who knew? Oh my gosh. So I have it smoothed out somewhat here. I just have to get these bottoms to tangle. Get the bottoms as nice and smooth as possible and keep a grip too. Cause you don't want to pull out all the teasing at the top. It's weird how the hair all works together to sabotage you. For those of you wondering what goes into a bouffant, it is exactly this. We're stuffing air into the hair. And whatever is on the outside is teased the slightest bit and then goes over to cover it. And the rest of the process is just molding it around to make it pretty. Karate chop it and start brushing up so that we can start creating that smooth barrier of the beehive. And if it looks a bit messy along the seam, don't worry because I'm gonna cover that up with a headband. That's the fun part about hairstyling is no one has to know what's all going into it or what it all took to create the look. As long as the look is pretty, that's all that matters. No one needs to know your secrets. That is between you and the Lord. And if they keep insisting on it, tell them, pay me. Oh! Okay, smooth, smooth, smooth. This is the part that takes ages, smoothing it. And no matter what you do, it's always the same thing. If you want it to look better, you have to do the same section over and over and over. And this is why I go off camera most of the time because that makes for a rather uninteresting video. And speaking of off camera, I'll be right back. <sighs> <laughs> Ooh, honey, when I tell you that smoothing out process is a girl, I feel like I've been smoothing for hours and it's finally to a place where I don't wanna murder people. Okay, now that we're at that place in our lives, let us start the front section. So I'm gonna take this bang that I've just been sitting on this whole time, wondering what the hell I'm gonna do with it. We're going to work the shape and create sort of like a flourish going down the front. So it looks like just two massive bangs in the front and then a big old poof in the back, like a ponytail. And we're gonna put like some flowers and stuff here, just to decorate it and garnish it. But first things first, we have to get this bang situation figured out. So wherever teasing is needed again, I'm just gonna repack it just to give it more structure so you can work with it a little easier. Just lightly teasing it. It's like the beginning of Tu Wong Fu, where is the body? Oh, in case you haven't seen, I did a review of Tu Wong Fu, thanks for everything Julie Newmar with Allison Pregler on her show, Movie Nights. Be sure and check that out on her channel. And honey, I picked the wrong dress to be doing all this in. <laughs> The wrong dress and hair. I picked up just about everything except boys and money. I'm related to anything, but I have Untouchable Face by Ani DeFranco stuck in my head. Does that ever happen to you guys just get random folk songs stuck in your head by lesbian singers? Ugh. 
Just a few days ago, I had At 17 by Janice Ian stuck in my head. Like for three days straight, it just was on repeat. Ah, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. We have one side just about done. I'm gonna do this other side now and then we'll be done. We add our little flowers, but that can be done at the very end. And then I'll just go in with a pick and bring the beehive back up. But in case you guys are like, you know, spoon fed and don't know what that means, I'll show you a little bit. Take this and you just pull up your teasing. And you do this until you feel like it is at the evenness you like. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome to the Manscaped Institute of Technology and Sciences. I'm James Mansfield, or should I say, Dr. James Mansfield. Today we're going to test out the Lawnmower 3.0 from Manscaped. I have here a male subject. <laughs> Sir, would you please kindly remove your shirt so I can demonstrate this instrument? With the new light on the Manscaped Lawnmower 3.0, I have absolute precision when it comes to seeing my target. There's no way I can miss this. Wow! Just look at that. And subject, how does that feel against your chest? Can't beat those results. Wow! Look at that rugged look, and that was with the guard. Let's see the Lawnmower 3.0 at its full power. Guard off. Wow, in just minutes, he went from mountain man to man of the city. Be sure to use my code Mansfield for 20% of your purchase plus free shipping. Available at manscaped.com. It's time for our finishing touches. I picked up the volume to bring more volume back into the beehive. And I sculpted my front bangs. Now it's just time to add flowers. Now I found this at Family Dollar. It is little daisies on a necklace that's too small for me to wear as a drag queen. But as a hair accessory, it is perfect. So I'm going to lovingly put that inside of the hair like that and then i'm going to take some bobby pins and just pin it in place what's more glamorous than a fake flower made out of plastic and rhinestones i don't know anything else ah there we are look at that she is a sweet summer child <laughs> all right i'm gonna switch wigs and i will be right back <laughs> Welcome back. This is the final result. Oh my God, I look like Carol Baskin if she was played by Lana Del Rey. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is a fun, late 60s, early 70s inspired hairstyle. Very flower child. Very, um, check her out, um, showgirl vanity wigs. She's fabulous. She does a lot of really beautiful, fun showgirl wigs like this. Diva is talented. What do us hairstylists do? We support each other. This is the Tokyo Styles wig. Now I have to say... Okay, let's talk. Now, for the namesake and everything, I love that I support Tokyo Styles and gave her some money and everything, but the wig is definitely probably not something I'd buy again. It was definitely made for somebody who wants to wear their hair bone straight and not do anything to it. When it came to styling it, you can definitely tell this wig was not meant to be styled like this. <laughs> I kind of pushed it to the very limits and it showed in my process. I was having a bit of a hard time getting it to cooperate and I had to do a lot of extra steps to get there. But other than that, it's like the wig quality is actually very, very nice. It's a nice full wig cap, lots of hair in it, very, very long. And it is a big old lace in the front too, like a very nice lace front. But it definitely serves its purpose. It just wasn't meant to be made into a big drag style, which is not the wig's fault. <laughs> Now this wig is fabulous, but it is just missing one more thing. The James Mansfield Magical Wig Spray from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Let's just give this wig a spritz. Ah. Now my hair smells just like cream soda. Available at blackphoenixalchemylab.com. And now I would like to take a moment, a Ven moment, where I thank everyone who's tipped me on Venmo. And I also have some Paypalimony. I would like to thank, I have a Paypalimony from, oh boy, Ing, Ing, Ing. I believe that's how you say it. Is it Ing? Let me know in the comment section. Oh my God. They said, good luck pronouncing my name again. <laughs> Sorry, girl. Norman, Sarah, Russ, Eric, and James. Thank you all so much for the tips on Venmo and the Paypalimony. Each one of your tips goes towards making this channel better. Thank you all so much. And again, you guys, let me know if you have any other ideas for celebrity wigs you want to see me transform because honestly, I think the well has run dry for all of them except for Raquel Welch, but I'm not spending that much money. I refuse to spend $300 on a wig. I, sorry, anyways. <laughs> Leave your suggestions down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, 
Bye. Click here and watch me transform a bilingual Lady Voyager wig. Yes, that's what the video is called. Or so me try out the Sugar Pill Capsule Collection. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'm going to shut the f up, birds. I'm recording something. Oh, sorry. Just click it.